Fulani Eds men stab farmer in Akure despite vacation order. The plight of Fulani headsmen in Ondo State resurfaced on Friday this week as they went to attack some farmers on their farm near Akure and slaughtered him like animals. The incident took place in a large cassava farm called Owobamibe on the way to Ileyo Isagba village, Akure. A man who is one of the local farmers regularly visited the farm that afternoon and found the headsmen uprooting the cassava plant from the heaps and feeding their cattle with it. As he was trying to stop them from their evil deeds, the Fulani men confronted him with a fight and started to machete him all over his body. All the villagers who had come out to rescue the man were also attacked by the headsmen who injured them before they could escape. One of the villagers, Abiodu Michael, who spoke to the news agent, said many villagers had packed their belongings and were fleeing the village in fear of the Fulani headsmen. He said no one was ready to sleep in his house in the village until the government takes action on the incident because it has become the custom of the Fulanis to come and attack them at night whenever there was a dispute between them. Thank you for listening to this news. Fulani in Akure. Hmm. Lord, when, uh, when, when, when is our people, when is this government, when will this administration know fully well that these people called Fulanese need to live on their own, need to live alone. They need to have their own separate community. They have a state. Why can't they just be where they kept them? What is chasing them away from their own community? That I don't know till now. What them to be afraid of their own community. They have all that it takes to rear their cattle in their own state. They have the hectares of land, not even acre. They have the crops. They have nothing. They, they will never lack any of these things. So why are they now making move to other states? If not that they have an eating agenda. My viewers, all these are all these things are what we as people are lamenting of and crying out to the government by saying, look, something needs to be done concerning this. Something needs to be done concerning this. If we don't cry out, Tell me, how then do we make, how then do we get ourselves escaped from them? You see that now? You see that? So, there, that is why this headsman needs, needs to be sent out of the southwest. Let them go and find a resting place somewhere. Let them relocate to their own hometown. No one is saying that they don't want to see them around. But because of this present situation, that is why they are demanding for their exit. Yes, we know that it is in the constitution of Nigeria that any man can reside anywhere in Nigeria without anyone questioning him. But whereby the presence of that person 
is causing menace, mayhem. Is bringing violence. What do you need to do to save that very situation? What do you need to do? You need to take the necessary step. Not minding what we what 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 will be the situation. You need to save that situation. You need to take the risk. The necessary risk and save what is going on. You understand? So these Fulani headers are people that one doesn't need to um to to to, to just allow to go like that. They are not. They need to to just be taken out completely completely out of 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 uh, out of southwest look at now they are they are not troubling the southeast anymore because of what the southeast has actually done to them and also because of the presence of the eastern security network in the southeast region you see that and i don't think they will even disturb them anymore because the southeast on their own side have, take, have, have decided and they are ready to face anything, anything, no matter what. No matter what. Fourth reason and why? Why? What have we really done to deserve this unnecessary attack from the Fulanese? If they don't kill you, they will kidnap you. If they don't kidnap you, they will rape you. Many bad things are just in their hands. Why? Why is it like that? What is really their problem? What is it that they say they want that are not given to them? What is that? My viewers, you see the reason why Sunday Ibohu is saying that he will not be at peace, not until the Fulani headsmen are taken out of Oyo. He is not saying that because of pride. He is saying it because of his people. Because of his people. Because these people, they are fond of retaliating. Keeping them is going to be very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous because they will come back in retaliation. Their coming back is for retaliation. Remember that their houses were set ablaze, their cows were killed. So, you allowing them to come back means to come and do back to you what you did to them. And by doing that, you can no longer chase them away again because this time around, the government will fight for them and will support them. You don't know. You don't know. And that is the humble truth. That is the only thing you need to know about it. So, my advice to the Southwest people is to maintain that stand. They, they should not allow the Fulani headsmen to return in any way. So, please, my viewers, if you are new on this channel, Deem it free to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.